So uh, my wife had to actually sign papers to not take the kids that the that the EMTs would not take the kids and that she would take them to the hospital that I was going to and check them into that ER. Uh, and we ended up having uh, friends come, neighbors, and drove Amy down once they life flighted me. Um, and so the kids went and got checked out. Uh, their injuries uh, were, were, like I said, were relatively minor, a couple broken bones and, and some damage to my daughter's ear. And they've eventually gotten over it. Their injuries are probably more psychological than anything. You know, just uh, they don't like to drive on that country road that we were on. Right. They, they avoid it. Uh, and I understand that. So uh, the kids went down and the neighbors brought brought them back home that evening, that night. And Amy stayed with me in the hospital. Uh, and, you know, really, out of all of this, my wife was an absolute rock, and she uh, and she attributes. You know, the interesting thing about that is um, she had been praying that the Lord would strengthen her faith, and then the wreck happened. And had she not had faith, she would have been lost. And so her faith did indeed, I mean, it, it, it strengthened. I, I'm, I'm, all of my kids, my kids, everybody came out of this uh, a stronger believer because they witnessed the miracles, the impossibilities. They saw it all. And they saw that the, that it... That, the blessings that I have received since, right? And that, so it's changed everybody in that way. Uh, that's just something that <clears throat> will be uh, kind of a forever thing. And in, in the story, you know, we talk about, I always talk about it. I was, I was very poorly catechized, right? And I was not a, I was not, I didn't have a deep spiritual understanding of our faith. And I had no concept, no clue of redemptive suffering. Mm. Uh, but the Lord would teach me about that in my, and in, in, in hopefully we get to talk about that a little bit later. Yeah. But uh, I have been given a blessing that that uh, every day is a, is an opportunity to suffer, and every day is an opportunity to, for for me to be like Simon of Cyrene, to pick up my cross and to carry it with joy and happiness, and know, in, in, in I talk to the Lord and I, I ask Him if. If he can fill my offering, it's an offering of love that I carry. I carry it for the souls in purgatory. I carry it for him. I carry it for whatever needs that he and the Blessed Mother determine are, are needed that day, right? I carry it as a prayer. Um, and it's an opportunity. We all have, we all have suffer. I mean, everybody suffers. And if you don't think you're suffering, you're just not being honest with yourself. I mean, most people are suffering in one way or another. And there always is an opportunity to be like Simon, to pick up that cross, to carry it. I mean, the Lord tells us that's what, what we need to do if we want to enter into and if we want to follow him, right? And and so um, I look at it as a great great blessing. And as St. Padre Pio would say, you know, suffering is a great gift for those who choose to use it wisely. And I've been given a tremendous gift. <laughs>